I want to circle back around to what I think was the most irresponsible single piece of journalism having to do with college football that was published anywhere in the country. And it happened at cbssports.com. They should apologize to their entire audience because they ran a piece based on University of Illinois computer science professor Sheldon, Sheldon Jacobson said, I guarantee, this is a direct quote, I guarantee someone is going to die if they were to play a college football season. He guaranteed a player would die if they opened and played a college football season and he also said the FBS level of college football would see three to seven deaths. A few of them could end up in a hospital and you'll have a small number who could die I don't want to sugarcoat it for you. I just want to give you the facts. If everybody comes together under normal circumstances we'll probably see that kind of outcome. It didn't happen. He said he only wanted to share the facts with you and he guaranteed a player would die. First of all, a Joe Namath-like guarantee that a player will die if the college football season happens is an insane insane, superbly dumb thing to say but I don't even blame this idiot computer science professor at the University of Illinois. I blame CBS Sports for running this article on June 30th of this uh, past summer because the evidence was readily apparent that this was not true. In fact, no college players who were playing in FBS this season died. I'm not even sure if there was a single serious hospitalization. No coaches either as the data was all telling us would happen. I've been telling you for months that there was far more danger from the flu the seasonal flu to your average high school or college kid than there was from COVID in terms of death. And we never ever have canceled a season because of the flu. Thankfully college football leadership got to the right decision but the truth of the matter is this the college football media should be ashamed of itself. Same thing with the Corona Bros in the professional sports media who tried to spread fear porn and convince everybody it was impossible to play a safe season. They were wrong. They were 1 billion percent wrong. The facts are now clear. CBS Sports should apologize for the fear porn that they shared. They should feel awful for running an article like that without support. And people say, why do you care? Because articles like those terrified people in college athletics. They were terrified that if a player died they would be blamed for it and that's why the chancellors in the Big Ten and the presidents acted That's why the Pac-12 acted the way they did. These articles had a tangible impact in a very real way in their decision making. They weren't rooted in fact. They were rooted in fear porn. They had irresponsible language that shouldn't have passed the editor booth at cbssports.com. Frankly, CBS Sports should be ashamed of that article that they ran. They should be ashamed of the quotes that they put up. And again, I guarantee someone is going to die. I guarantee someone is going to die. It didn't happen. And then he had the temerity to say I don't want to sugarcoat it I just want to give you the facts. That was not the facts and your guarantee was wrong and CBS Sports should be ashamed for what they ran there. 